What's, what's your name? Travis. So where are you from? I I'm from Korea, technically. Gyopo? No, I was born here, but uh, I kind of grew up in the States most of the time. Really? Yeah. You're, re you're really not Gyopo? No, no, no. I mean, your style make you look Gyopo. You look... Does it? A oh. little, little swag right here. I mean, it's more like being colder. Bruh. Okay, I got a question for you. What do you rate yourself between 1 and 10? <laughs> oh, it's just one of those. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a solid 3. 4 on a good day. I could be 5, depending on how intoxicated the viewer is. Uh, so they got they got to drink to, to talk to you. Ah, uh, I'm just joking. I, actually, I, I, I barely drink. I mean, I work like seven days a week. Really? What do you do, man? I'm a dentist. Dentist. I right, house my teeth. Check this out. What? Looks pretty spotless to me. Can I get a checkup for free? I mean, you, you can feel free to come for a checkup. Let's put it that way. So what's the name of the clinic? Uh, it's called Gangnam Gentle Dental Clinic. A little rhyme there. You come and check out anytime you want. Yeah. So you speak English really well, so how did you learn English? Well, I went to the States when I was about like 10 months old and lived there for about like 20 years. So I went to school like in the States and stuff, so yeah. What do you think is the big difference between the Korean education system and the American education system? Uh, they probably have their both ups and downs. The Korean sunung system is very hectic. It burns out a lot of the Korean kids these days. what you get? what I get? Yeah, what did you get? I didn't take that sunung actually. What'd you get on the SATs? Uh, I got like 2270, I think. Believe it! This guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I think I got like 1750 or something. Out of like 2400? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you said that to your dentist. Why are you practicing in Korea instead of the United States? I kind of missed, you know, being around family. Considering like when I was abroad in the States, I lived by myself most of the time. I was starting from thing like junior high through like college and stuff. So kind of missed the Korean vibe, you know, like like I was a minority like most of my life in the States. Parents and family, friends living far away was kind of, you know, kind of makes, makes you like lonely, you know what I mean? So it kind of made me want to come back. But once I came back, I realized, you know, how hectic Korean life is, you know what I mean? But yeah. How was the adjustment between living in the States or so long and then living in South Korea was it a big cultural difference for you well not really because uh, I came back for like summer vacation every year and then uh, I also served in the military in the Korean military. I was an uh, English TA at the Korean Military Academy. You taught English there? So it's like, you know how there's like TAs in like colleges and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. so basically, I was helping like, you know, aiding professors at the Korean Military Academy. I was teaching cadets English, doing assignments for them and you know, other stuff. Yeah, just this and that. What's the biggest plus of living in Gangnam? The vibrant, flamboyant life, I guess. It's very lively. It's a very young area. Everything's very busy. I guess it's kind of like, you know, the New York vibe of Korea. And at the same time, it's, it can take a toll on you. You definitely accumulate some city miles on you and stuff, you know what I mean? Any advice to students that want to study in America? I guess you have to be both strong with your academics and with your social skills, especially when you're abroad. It's hard to, you know, adjust to a different country. You're still a minority and a foreign language and stuff like that. You want to be more diverse, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Take it easy. Ooh, yeah. Thanks for the video.